Hi folks, this is Brian from iSpring. Today we're going to talk about how to selectively randomize questions in a quiz with iSpring QuizMaker. But first, why randomize? Well, the basic idea is to provide a unique experience each time the quiz is taken. This will keep quiz takers on their toes if they need to repeat the test and can also be a good way of preventing them from sharing answers with each other. I'm going to use this nifty quiz about the Olympic Games as a simple example for this tutorial. Now this first question group contains an info slide which follows naturally from the previous questions, so it doesn't make sense to randomize this group. This second group, however, seems like an ideal candidate for shuffling. Let's click on the group and randomize the questions here. We want to check our quiz takers on all these questions, so I'll just leave this setting alone. But keep in mind that we can choose any number of questions to be selected from this group if we wish. Now take a look at this first question. Since it's about the first modern host city of the Olympics, I think I want to make sure it always comes up first in this group. So I'm just going to link it to the top of the group like this. By the way, you can always just right-click a question and use the link submenu to do the same thing. And actually, this question about the Olympic motto looks like it'll be cool for a final question, so I'll link it to the bottom of the group. Plus, these two questions about summer and winter host cities look good together, so I'll make sure they always show up one right after the other. For a pair of questions, you can link the one above to the one below like this. Or if you want to link several questions, it's handy to just select them all and link them with a single click. Oh, looks like I got a little link happy there. I'll unlink this one. So, to review, with these settings, this question will always appear first, this one will always appear last, these two will always appear in a row, and the rest, such as they are, will be shuffled. Now, with just eight questions in this group, there's not much of a noticeable effect, but for complex subjects like math or science with a bewildering number of concepts to grasp, you can really start to see the power of randomization. And if you really want to throw your students for a loop, you can even go into the quiz properties, into the navigation settings, and make it one big mishmash with random groups and random questions. And there you have it. Hope you found this little tutorial helpful. Now go forth and randomize.